Chet, these, Chet. Uh, Chet, these games are uh, just coming down to a handful of possessions. Uh, what's it like battling out there and um, knowing how much better you guys can be? Mark was talking about a, kind of another gear that he knows that this group can get to. Yeah, I mean, it's everything you can want out of a basketball game. Uh, it's extremely competitive. Uh, you know, both teams really want it. And, um, you know, obviously we want to come out on the winning end of things. But, um, you know, if you take the result out of it, you know, it's everything that you want to want to be going through in a in a basketball game, you know, fighting and, uh, you know, going out there and having each other's back. They have been switching a ton defensively, it, it seems. What are some keys for you all since you've seen that over the course of the year of attacking that and getting the, the advantages that you want in those situations? Um, just doing what we've seen over the course of the year and, uh, um, you know, I'm not going to get into X's and O's and everything, um, but, I mean, they pretty much, they watch film, they have good coaches, you know, they know what we're trying to do out of those situations. Uh, you know, it's our job just to execute them right and do what we've been doing all year and, and make plays out of that. So that's what we got to do. With that, I, I know each game maybe calls for a different shot selection from you, but, but in this series so far, like, what have you seen Dallas do to maybe take away some of your shots, especially from the outside? Uh, I mean, they're switching. Uh, you know, when, when you switch, um, you know, there's – no real pop first shot advantage. Um, so that's one of the ways. And then, uh, you know, I feel like I've gotten some good catch and shoot looks. Um, you know, I've made some of them, missed some of them. Uh, you know, I just got to continue to uh, be ready to hunt those um, and, you know, knock those shots down. You guys have been better at rebounding since the All Star break. There was a point in the third today where I think they had 14 O boards and you guys had one. Just what did you see? Maybe up to, up to the third, or just generally in today's game that, that maybe led to that. Um, I mean, there's a lot that I'm focusing on, uh, and I can't see the whole floor from where my point of view is. Uh, so I can't see break down exactly why they got each rebound. But uh, you know, when there's a 14 to one advantage, that means that you know they're crashing more, uh, they're crashing harder, and they're getting the ball. Um, in those situations, uh, so you know, we we just have to turn that around, figure out how to turn it around, because uh, you know, in a in a game that's as close as it was today, uh, you know, those those second opportunities are extremely important for us to limit and also to get for ourselves. Points in the paint abnormally low for you guys tonight. Um, what was it that the Mavs did specifically, and then like when when your shots aren't falling like the way you guys want to from the outside, and points in the paint are low? How do you kind of like mitigate one or the other? Um, I mean, again, I'm not going to get too much into X's and O's. I'm just saying, you know, they're not going to let us just shoot layups all game. So, uh, you know, credit to them. They're a good defense with a good game plan. And, uh, you know, we have to figure out <clears throat> how to, um, you know, counter that to, you know, the best of our po our best of our abilities. And um, I feel like that will leave us in a good spot. What went wrong for you guys during that 16 to nothing run they had in the third? Um, you know the timestamps on that. It was like eight and a half minutes to four and a half minutes, I think. Um, I'm gonna have to watch the film and get back to you on that. I don't know exactly um, what was happening, but uh, you know, it's a game of swings, uh, and that's that's one of their swings uh, that they got going. And um, you know, both teams are throwing punches back and forth, so. Um, we got to be able to take those punches and then, and then throw some of our own, uh, which I feel like we did a good job tonight and we've done throughout the series. Uh, you know, in the last two games, we just haven't been able to, uh, you know, be leading when the time runs out. So, Chet, you mentioned earlier this is like this is everything you want in a basketball game. Do you, do you even have more of an appreciation of, of this time of year, these kind of games, because you missed a whole year and all that with your injury? Yeah. Um, I feel like I've always had a great perspective uh, towards, you know, my health and my ability. And, uh, you know, I never really took it for granted. Um, you know, I always woke up and hooped and worked out and everything. Like, <clears throat> that day could be my last day. It sounds cliche, but that day could be my last day doing it. Um, and then when I got hurt, uh, you know, it kind of just built that appreciation. And now I try to have that every single day, uh, no matter what's happening, whether I'm tired or this hurts or that hurts or I'm sick or uh, you know, whatever happens, just wake up and be appreciative of, of the opportunity and, and, you know, the ability to go out there and, and play. And, um, you know, I feel like 
until I'm no longer able to play. That's that's how I'll look at it. So, uh, go back to that that block in the second quarter where you you jump up and kind of land hard. You're on the ground. What were you, were you hurt there? Was there was there any fear in your mind just jumping up for that? Over I don't know. There was three people you jumped over. I think. Yeah. Um, no, I never. Like I don't want to be like a crash dummy out there, but I also don't want to be hesitant out there. So you know, my my instinct is just go make a play. Uh, you know, if you're out there worrying about getting hurt on this play or that play, one that's how injuries happen a lot of times, and then two, you're you're not, you know, putting everything on the line for your teammates, which I feel like I always owe to them. So I'm just trying to go make a play, and you know, if something happens outside of that. It's kind of out of my control at that point. You're just catching your breath at the, on the ground there, though? Uh, yeah, I was just getting a couple extra breaths in before uh, uh, play started again. Mark was saying that there was uh, another gear he, f- he feels you guys can reach. Just what do you think has kept you guys from, from reaching that gear? Um, I mean, there's no one magical answer that I could give you. Uh, You know, it's an extremely complex game of, you know, X's and O's. And, uh, like, so so much comes down to makes and misses, too. Uh, You know, you miss good looks. You make bad bad shots. You know, there's so much that affects how we look at the outcomes. Um, You know, but we're going to do everything in our ability to give ourselves the best chance to win basketball games. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's what he's – he's referring to uh, when he says that. So, you know, we're going to get in practice in the film room tomorrow and, uh, you know, do everything we can to be the best uh, version of ourselves for a game for. How much does experience play into that just in games like this? You have Kyrie who's won championships. Luke has been in a bunch of playoff series. You guys are obviously pretty young. Um, uh, I'd say... I think how to answer that one. Um, I mean, obviously, we would all like to have the experience of winning championships under our belt and um, <clears throat> being through certain things and seeing certain things numerous times. Um, but we're a young team and we haven't, and we're not going to look at that as a reason that we can't go out and do what we need to do. Um, you know, we're going to go figure it out, um, and we're going to do whatever it takes to do that. You mentioned shot making. I just wonder, I know you guys have talked all year about just understanding the variance of the game, just how much it's a make shot, miss shot lead. But like at this stage when the possessions weigh as much as they do, like does your perspective change at all just on that front, just how fickle the shot making part of it is? Um, no, because it comes down to building that trust, that which we've done all year. Uh, and we just have to continue to stick by that if we run – a play to shoot a game winning shot and we get a great look and we miss it, we have to live with that. Um, you know, that's that's just what the league is. Uh, you know, you might run a play and it doesn't work and you get the ball in and make a Hail Mary and, you know, you're all happy because you won the game. Like, it's just, uh, you know, you just have to look at the process over the result of things. And, uh, you know, we lost the game tonight. We're not going to change our whole philosophy on, on trying to be the best version of ourselves because of that. Uh, you know, we're going to stick to the process um, and, and, you know, trust that. Chad, obviously you guys want to have a quick start to some of these games. It's been a little bit slow in games uh, two and three. Obviously no team comes in. It's like, let's have a slow start. But what goes into, like, using Mark's words of, like, throwing that first punch? Um, again, a lot of factors. Uh, you know, the biggest one I say is we got to come out with as much energy as we possibly can. Uh you know, a lot of times, um, you know, variance kind of favors the aggressor. So we got to come out being the aggressors and, uh, you know, come out ready to make plays and, and throw punches. And, um, you know, the Mavs are going to do the same thing. So, uh, you know, I feel like that's what we got to do. Thank you, Chad. Yeah, we go one more. We can go one more. Yeah, right here. Uh, yep. Mark talks about, talks about like emotional gaps. Like, how have you guys handled that emotional gap that existed between two and three and then, like, the locker room even after today's game? Um, I feel like it's a combination of things. Again, uh, you know, we have very mature people in our locker room. Um, 
you know, a very steady. And again, we're all kind of bought into this whole process thing, uh, understanding that it's it's ups and downs, flows to everything. So, uh, you know, we're not going to change what we've been doing all year, trusting each other, trusting the process, trusting the coaches. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to do that to the best of our abilities. And, and you know, to this point in the season, it's left us in a good spot. So uh, I don't think that'll change. Thank you, Chad. Yeah.